Hello guys, welcome to the uh, SketchUp Arc Studio. Today we have some important tutorial about the rendering in the Enscape and let's get to work. One of the important elements for the realistic rendering related to the uh, material editor. For this reason, I'm going to talk about material adjustment and how we can control our materials in our screen. So interior rendering is one of the hard renderings and it's much harder than exterior rendering because you must control some artificial lights and other things. In this case, you must do control materials too. So we have some kitchen in here and this project name is the uh, gray theme kitchen design. It's the uh, some modern design in here and we have high glass materials. For this reason, I must change all the reflections and the rendering quality is the medium. So, I want to minimize my screen in here and now I have my kitchen. So I'm going to click on the material editor and this screen will appear for me. As you can see, we have different type of materials like the plaster, wood or other type of things. But we don't know which one is related to our scent. For this reason, you only need to click on the paint bucket in SketchUp. And you will see some option that's called sample paint. It's work like the drop. And when I click on it, I can detect my materials in my Enscape material editor. For this reason, I'm going to click on it. And as you can see, dark gray cabinet detected for me. Now I can adjust it very simple and easy more easier than the past. We have different things like the albedo, height map, reflection, transparency and other things. So my kitchen design is the high glass design and I need reflections on my surfaces. For this reason I only work with the reflection part and roughness. If you want reflection on your surfaces you must reduce the roughness and you will see some shiny and reflective surfaces. So I'm going to reduce this roughness from 90% to the 10%. And now you can see the reflection of this side on my surface and the back side on this surface too. Very simple and easy. So I create this material in here and I want to fix it about 10%. So uh, everything is good and metallic. If you want to create some metal texture and reflections, you must increase the metallica as you can. But in this case, don't do this work because it makes your render not realistic too. Because we don't have these type of materials in the real world. What about the specular? The specular is one of the important reasons for the shiny and brightness of our screen. If you increase the specular in different type of surfaces, like the ceramica, liquid and other things, you can see the differences very easily. For example, it uh, shows some tips for us. For example, ceramics have 70% of the specular and floors too. So, for my MDF and kitchen design, I can increase it to the 60% and it will work very good. Next material is the dim gray and related to my head of the kitchen. I can adjust it very simple and easy like other materials. After that we have marble stone in here, I used for my faces on my kitchen. I want to rotate it a little bit, something like the 90%. For this reason, you can click on the albedo texture in here, and now you can change the tint color. Like that, you can see the differences. But I don't suggest this option because in the real world, we don't have these type of materials, and it's not really useful at all. So I'm going to turn it back to the Fabrica. After that, we have texture reflection and roughness, but this item is the roughness and it's not really worked for us. So I want to delete it, but I don't know how. For this reason, I'm going to click on this icon in here. After that, 
piece structure will be developed for me and now I can adjust my roughness. As you can see, this roughness is about 90%. So I'm going to change it to the 10% again because I need reflections in my interior design. A specular depends on you. You can change it with each type of number you want. But I think something like the uh, 46 is good for this stone in here. After that, we have marble wall in here. So marble wall is the stone that we use for the uh, floor, kitchen, and upper cabinet design. As you can see, I change and adjust reflection items in here. For example, Metallica is about 8%. Roughness is about 10 Or I can change it to the 9 After that, we have Pale Wild Red. This is my hidden light. And I want to change it to the light, but I don't know how. So I want to use Type and change it to the self-illumination. As you can see, it's converted to the light and now we can use it as the uh, hidden light on our sailing. So, I can control the light power with the luminance option in here. It's about 5000 candela per meter. I can change it to the 1000 candela. And albedo is about the white color. And now you can change your color, for example, red. This is the light color. And you can select it from the uh, self-illumination part in here. But now I want white color in here. After that, we have the plaster option on our walls. For this reason, I'm going to click on this option in here. I can change the widths and heights to the 2 and 2 meter and close it. So the normal map is about 120%. I can change it to the 166 and the texture is about 90% but I need a little bit reflection like the Seri 8% So Metallica and Specular is good. I can change the Specular to the uh, 61 for example After that we have white material in here White material is the main material of our kitchen design. So it's work like the others and I want to convert it to the high glass material for this reason, I'm going to reduce the roughness from 90 to 10% and spectral to the 60% in here. And it's done in here. So, we have wood number 2, chevron, and I use it for my floor. I can ref remove the reflection in here and change the roughness to the 20 because I need a little bit highlights on my screen and my floor. So... I'm going to reduce it a little bit, about 14%, for example. Metallica is not working in here very good. And the specular. I'm going to increase the specular to the 70%. And after that, we have normal map in here. If I change it to the displacement map, you can see some bad changes in here. So I'm going to change it to the normal map and increase it. From 100 to the 128. Now I'm going to click on the wood cabin in here. And I'm going to convert it to the uh, high glass material again. Before this option, I'm going to increase the uh, intensity from 100% to some number about 134. After that, we have roughness, so I'm going to reduce it a little bit. And the spectra is good in here. So, all of the materials done right now. So, we adjust all of these materials very simple and easy, with only some changes. I hope you enjoyed this video. Like and subscribe our YouTube channel. After this tutorial, I am going to talk about how we can render realistic this interior scene. Subscribe our channel and goodbye.